Hi Scrappy friends! I hope you're having a great day. It's Audrey again with another video. Um, today this is for my guest design team spot this month at My Creative Scrapbook and I'm working with the main kit this month which contains a lot of the um, Simple Stories Life in Color collection. So I've already made a few pages at this point with my kit so a lot of the papers and things I'm working with are leftovers or scraps um, or little bits from from the from the kit and actually I think this is the very last page I made with the kit so um, I do have a lot of little bits around that I want to use up um, so I'm using some photos of myself I don't really do a lot of pages of myself um, but this was kind of a special occasion because I actually went and got my hair done did and I never ever get my hair done ever I have only ever colored my hair one time so I had some highlights put in it was kind of fun it was a nice time having some time by myself and getting a little pampered um, my husband had got me a gift certificate for my birthday so I decided to use it so I am gonna use those two photos and I cut a piece of background paper at an angle I definitely wanted to work at an angle I'm not sure I've just been really into angles lately and having my um, background pieces um, just be at a, a diagonal or a weird funky angle. So I'm using uh, an older Martha Stewart um, on the page, I think it's called around the page punch or on the page punch or something like that where you can punch it anywhere on the page and it has a magnetic base and you just put um, the base uh, on the, underneath your layout and then the other part magnetizes on top and you can punch anywhere on the page. And this is awesome, an awesome tool if you don't have a die cutting machine because you can kind of still get that die cutting look. So I um, punched a couple circles there and I drew a pencil line on the background paper, on the white paper to line up my punch so that my circles would kind of be in a straight line there. And they came out um, pretty good. They're a little unevenly spaced um, one from the next but you can't even tell in the finished, in the finished page. Um, so now I'm just auditioning some papers to go underneath those circles and I know I'm going to make a cluster in the top left to kind of balance that um, the punches and the underneath my photos there. Um, so I'm punching out a couple extra pieces to perhaps layer up in that top left corner. I had this um, this little speech bubble there was cut out from one of the four by six cards that come on one of the pattern papers and I had cut it out um, earlier because I was going to use it on a different page because um, I really liked that saying and I thought it went well with my photos and so I just cut that out of um, one of the cards and I definitely want to use that in the top there so I decided to use that instead of the I, I had some little picture frames up there so I took the picture frames out. And I'm searching around for something else kind of bold and um, black like that speech bubble to put down there at the bottom because it's just like this big chunk of uh, black paper up there. Um, so I, I wanted something to kind of balance that out. So um, a little later you'll see me take a, a sticker that helps that balance that black out and then a couple words and some black ink. So I am just um, playing around here with some more punches. You can see I, I, I was thinking about framing my photos with, um, there's a pattern paper there that has um, like Polaroid frames, but my photos weren't quite the right size and you really couldn't see the pattern underneath, so I kind of skipped that. I wanted to add a few more circles, but I didn't want them all the same size, so I found another little kind of scallop circle punch and punched a few other circles to bring in um, a smaller circle and some more of the different colors. And I backed my photos with some black cardstock just to make them stand out a little bit more. There's that sticker I was talking about, the other little speech bubble um, sticker. And now I'm just going through all of the little bits I have. There's a sticker sheet and in the kit and um, some chipboard and I'm punching out some more circles and I'm just going to make kind of a embellishment cluster underneath my photo and I do angle everything underneath my photos to try to follow the angle of the background paper 
um, the, the pink paper and the black and white polka dot paper so that that angle continues. And I was so happy to be able to use those little scissors um, that came off the little piece of chipboard. I thought this was a great photo to use those scissors on. And it's hard to tell in the video, but those scissors are actually like a, a metallic silver. So they're super cute. And I love, so these stickers um, aren't simple stories, but they are in the kit. I think they're um, Amy Tan. I love those little like X's. They kind of look like big stitch, big stitch um, lines. So I liked just scattering those on the page. They were fun. This page actually is coming together really fast. Um, I find that when I make videos of my, when I'm, when I'm making a process video, I scrap much faster and because I think because I'm trying to get everything done um, in the video on time usually I just kind of sit around and hem and haw about my decisions but um, when I make when I know I'm making a process video I kind of just go for it and um, just put down things and keep going and don't really stop so it's making my pages go a lot faster so I added a few stitch lines I stitched over that black and white polka dot paper and then the speech bubble on the top. I'm trying to get that angle again. And as, as you notice, if you watch some of my other videos, I put things on and take things off lots of times before I actually glue anything down and, or I'll I have to go back and add stitching or I go back and add splatters, paint splatters. So yeah, I, uh, I do a lot of putting on and taking off of things before I actually get it all on there. So this kit, I forgot it has the uh, clear sticker sheets as well, which I love. They are so fun to work with. Now you saw me hold up that twine there and I wanted to put that underneath my photos and I totally forget about it and I really wanted to use it because I thought it was pretty and add some good texture, but I actually go and glue everything down um, and forget to add that twine, but we will see it again. And so I do end up adding it back in. So here come my splatters, just black um, this time. I'm trying to get some big drops. I'm cut, this, this particular um, black I have is kind of getting low, so I'll have to find a new favorite because that is one of my favorites and it's almost gone. So I'm just adding, uh, now finally gluing things down permanently. And here goes my photos, forgot to add the twine. And I wanted to add, so I just punched a couple, well, actually the white circles that I punched out from the background cardstock, I had to add those in at the top because on that pink paper because there was no white up there and it was too kind of colorful, so I wanted to add some of those white um, circles. I guess I could have just punched them out of the um, pink paper, but... Um, Okay, so here's the twine. I'm trying to figure out how to get it underneath my photos that I have already glued down. And I'm multitasking by also rearranging my embellishments in the top right, or the top left. Okay, so what I decide to do is I can't rip my photos off because that quick dry glue just does not come off. So I take a little popsicle stick here and I'm able to squeeze it underneath the photos just a little bit and it goes all the way through. So I, t I thought this was pretty genius. I take a piece of tape and I tape the twine to it and I just pull it through with a popsicle stick and it went right underneath. Okay, maybe not genius, but it was creative and I got it done. So the twine is on there and I'm just taping it to the back. And I like that little bit of color that that adds behind the photo. So I think that that's pretty much it for this page, and I'm just going to add my journaling, and I go back here and fiddle with a couple other little bits, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a really fun page to make. I like using an old punch that I haven't used in a while, and um, I love kind of doing this angle with a little cluster of embellishments at the bottom. It's a good way to use up a lot of bits that you have left over on a sticker sheet or in a kit.
So thanks for much, so much for stopping by and watching this video today, and make sure you check out my creative scrapbook. Have a great day.